This video briefly covers some of the 3D performance and workflow improvements we've made in Photoshop CS5 Extended. Overall, there have been tremendous performance improvements made to interaction speeds, workflow, and both GL and ray trace rendering. In the 3D panel, I can now show overlays for individual 3D access, ground plane, light selections, or simply show all. Up here in the left-hand corner, we have a 3D access that is now context sensitive. What this means is that I can actually manipulate my object position, as well as camera position, as well as individual meshes within the scene. So I come over here and target just the wheel and move the mesh or use the axis here and rotate that mesh as well. And individual lights. You can see here in the 3D axis, there's a small icon in the left-hand corner that shows me what it is that I'm manipulating or, or moving or repositioning in my scene. To further help position lights, I now have the ability to use my Alt key and plus clicking on canvas to either move my light or retarget my light. Let's go to my lights panel here and target a particular light. And with a light tool selected, I can Alt click and you can see that light has been moved to the area that I've targeted. We also have new material selector and dropper tools making it even easier to texture your 3D object. If I go to my materials panel, I can choose my material select tool and you'll notice that as I'm clicking in my object, my materials graph is updating to show me which material it is that I'm targeting. Further, I can use my material dropper tool to load any material into my dropper and drop it to any other mesh in the scene. I can even use my material dropper tool to drop materials onto separate 3D layers. In Photoshop CS5, we have a new and improved ray tracer that allows for not only faster rendering, but also progressive tiling. I'll go ahead and kick it into ray tracer so you can see. You can see that the blue tiles are drawing and showing me which part of the object that it's rendering for. At any point, I can come in here and click the space bar to pause it. And if I want to resume progressive rendering, I can go into the 3D menu and choose resume progressive render. Also new in CS5 Extended is the ability to do test rendering. With my selection tools, I can make a selection for an area that I want to target and render for, and I can choose 3D progressive render selection. You'll see that my tiling is indicating that I'm only rendering for that section. Again, at any point, I can come in here and pause it and resume the render. At any point here, I can pause it and resume the render. Lastly, in the Preferences dialog, you'll notice we have 3D specific preferences that you can set. Here, I can change the color of my 3D overlays as well as adjust the quality threshold for final ray tracing.